Hi, it's Tracy from Mini Figures R Us, and today we are here going over our DIY paint bath bomb paint kits that we have. So here we are with our cultural day activities for Lacombe Tourism. We have our bath bombs. We give you the micas needed to paint. We give you the rubbing alcohol and the polysorbate. The polysorbate's put in, so that way these colors don't leave your tub colored or you, which is the best part of our bath bombs. Um, instructions are here. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we do when I'm painting a bath bomb is I'm holding it here, is I take and I brush off really lightly any of the excess. It just helps with allowing um, the paint to adhere and not run. I call it paint, it's not really paint. So the first thing I do is I just add a little bit of the your 99% alcohol into the base. And I take my brush, any brush you want, and just mix it up. You'll see that that's a really runny consistency for me. It's almost too runny, okay? but I'm just gonna mix up what's already on the bottom. You would be pulling out of your little tub of colors. Ours are already kind of pre-made. So as we're just mixing up, making sure everything is well saturated into the rubbing alcohol, you'll make a mess. I do all the time. You're just gonna take your polysorbate and you're just gonna put in two drops. Now you guys don't have to worry about any of that. We've pre-mixed it all for you. We provided you with a paintbrush and everything to be able to get things done. The first thing I'm starting with is just gonna be a basic color of kind of a light red. And as you can see, I'm still not happy with the consistency. So all you're gonna do is just grab this. You do have a pet bath in there. It is for adding your alcohol and stuff. You're gonna see me be a little bit more creative today with it. Because really we just use what's on hand. Oh, so much better. A little goes a long ways, guys. Now I'm gonna brush, I'm gonna use my smaller edge brush just so I can get in there with the fine tips. So I'm gonna try to paint these so that you guys can see them because normally I work on face down situation. I'm just gonna do, in this case, I'm gonna do her belt. So as you can see, it's just light, quick strokes. No need to push down. If you push down, well, sometimes you'll crumble your bath bomb. Please don't use water or anything besides what we're giving you in the kits because water will activate the bath bomb. So now I don't know what color you guys want to do a witch's hat. I prefer to do a witch's hat black. And again, keep excess brushes around or whichever you want to keep. Um, for you guys, you guys have the one brush, so I would just go ahead and use water to wash your brush off, just make sure it's dry, guys. Okay, so this time I did the right procedure and I didn't add too much of the alcohol. Again, drop a polysorbate. I'm just gonna use this brush right now. You can go into your black hat. All of the bath bombs that we've provided today are all gonna be your Halloween style. We have Christmas ones and other ones that we do too at different times of the year. But as you can see, it's really simple, but the best thing about it is it's so simple that any of us can do it and the kids love it. So as you can see, here we are painting our own bath bombs here at home. I'm a little sometimes picky on how things look. So Wendy, what color do you think we should do the dress? Gold? Gold. Okay. So again, we're just gonna add a few drops of rubbing alcohol. I am gonna just go ahead and dab my polysorbate in. I'm gonna grab my brush. Thank you to Vanessa for writing all the extra brushes for me. Vanessa's the other half of us creative one. So here we are to combine these color. We're doing just gold. Again, light strokes, guys. The thicker you put it on, 
the longer it's going to take to dry and the possibilities that it won't dry. So if you've ever had a bath bomb that leaves that handprint of paint in your hand, either we got carried away or we weren't paying attention or we were just trying to go too, too quick to get her all done for you guys. But again, there's no wrong way. You can do it as light as you want, as dark as you want. The goal with all of this is to have fun. So as you guys sit and watch, you can see just how much time and effort goes into actually painting every bath bomb. So now we've got the black, we've got the red. I am gonna go back in here and do the little red on the hat. Again, your choice to what color you guys wanna do it. It's the best thing about painting. It's whoever your idea is creative. So this time I'm gonna go in, and once again, I'm just gonna go over this. It's all good, guys, we're all good. We're gonna go in with, and show you exactly. So you see this bottle, you see I have two. These are combined together for you. You don't have to worry about combining. So we're gonna go in, put in a couple drops. If you wanna be an expert, that's the way we do it at home. <laughs> the best part about this stuff guys I'm gonna tell you straight off cleaners just wipe it right off even if it's on white this or that we found a really good little cleaner that you can get real cheap if you uh, ask Lacombe Tourism and Wendy you'll find out what kind I can tell her so now I've decided that she's gonna be brown hair because you know brown hair rocks don't mind the silver sparkles they'll be taken care of soon and I'm just going in and as you can see, if you guys have done any painting techniques, you can, uh, something called dry brushing. It's where you actually take most of the paint off your brush and you just go over the grooves. So that way it's just picking up on the edges as you can see. So that way we're getting that look. Again, nothing here has to be perfect. It's just a matter of making it look like pretty and fun. So now we're gonna take, sorry, do the broomstick. Cause you know, most broomsticks are brown, I think. I don't know, I guess we'll find out Halloween night. Look at that. Ooh, she's looking good, guys. She's looking good. I see places I've missed, but you know what? I can't just be perfect today but I do go in and touch up when I'm done all the spaces that I feel like I have missed. Now, one thing you'll find that when you've mixed your, your stuff, it dries after a time. That's just because the rubbing alcohol and stuff evaporates. It's not done. You don't need much more color. You just need to add a couple more drops of the rubbing alcohol and everything is re right back up to where it was. See, it doesn't take much. Little goes long, long ways. But see, my hat wasn't perfect, so I need to go fix it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and let's just switch it up completely and let's go with something bright. So we're gonna go back and we're just gonna start adding a little bit of the green mica into the container. Again, you guys have your colors. It's not hard to get more. Don't use regular paints, please. So as you can see, guys, I've just accented with brighter colors. You can go ahead too, and we will. We'll paint this whole background, whatever color you want. You can leave it white like she's flying through the moon, which is technically what the mold is. But I don't know about you, but I think it needs to be blue, maybe purple, because I'm kind of a purple fan. So we'll paint that up purple because, well, that's the kind of person I am. If you guys notice, oh, I'm gonna go in and do this green because, yeah, I can. Because there's no wrong answers here. So here we are, we're gonna add purple. Remember I said I'm gonna make mine, ooh, guys, ooh, way too much. Shh, don't tell Vanessa. Oh, guys, look at that purple. Who does not like the color purple? And if you say you don't, so sorry, because, She's gonna be a purple bath bomb. 
Oh yeah, guys, look. Look at how nice that just goes on, right? Again, not pushing hard. Try not to double over where you've already touched. And again, you guys can go in and do it as perfect, perfect as you want, however you want. Today I'm not being so perfectionist. But tell me that does not look wicked. Would love to see people who have painted theirs. Give them a post under the video after you guys have gotten your guys' kits. Just so we can see what everybody's come up with for their creativities. Nothing I like better than seeing the happiness come back. Oh yeah. Who doesn't like purple? Wendy like purple? Just think guys. You got at least an hour's worth of entertainment here for your kids. Or for us moms. And the best part is when we're done, we get to go have a hot bath. And enjoy our work. Oh, these are amazing gift ideas. Like, I mean, these are something that people like to buy for their stockings and things like that. Um, underneath the tree, they're a great birthday gift. They're a great birthday party. So instead of a favors that the kids don't necessarily keep, you guys could take these and just keep them as the gift for the party. So with these kits, we do have them. If you weren't able to get one from the Lacombe Tourism, we do have them and they are $10 a kit. Um, but again, super easy. You can also choose what mold you want or what kind you want, whether it be the season or birthday or things like that. We have tons of different molds that you could choose from. Well guys, the only color I didn't do today was skin tone and it's because I honestly just forgot. There's a touch up work that I would do before selling something like this. But in the whole, this is the way we would go about painting our amazing little bath bombs. Again, thank you to Lacombe Tourism and the Culture Days for having us on.